Hi guys, this tutorial is on the Home Inspector Pro 5 feature, the cover page designer. The cover page designer was uh, added to give you guys full flexibility of laying out your cover page. You can combine it with the digital stationary feature that we've added to really get a fully customized look within the report, or you can use it by itself. Uh, it's real simple to use, although there's definitely a lot of different features that are a part of it. To get to it, go to Report Settings and go to Cover Page Designer. The first time you open the Cover Page Designer, it'll actually check this Enable Custom Cover Page Layout. If you want to go back to just the default layout in Home Inspector Pro, you can uncheck that box. But it must be checked if you want to use the designer itself. Uh, everything in here, if you see, when you hover your mouse over it, will actually highlight. That's to let you know what your focus is on. So I'm focusing on my logo, and it automatically adds in the logo in your report. This is what I have loaded in. Um, it's best to set this up when you have a cover page photo on. That way you can actually see the cover page photo, your title, and everything else. So um, first, across the top are objects. This allows us to actually turn things off. So if we didn't want the cover photo to ever print, we can uncheck that. If we didn't want our company logo to print, our inspection details, the real estate agent information, the cover company, or the report title. And you, the reason you might want to turn these off is you can actually uh, add this text directly in, in any location in a, in a more customized format. Um, we can add boxes directly. So I clicked on Add Box. Let me grab that box. And then I can actually move that box to different areas. Uh, I can take this box and I can actually make it larger. Or smaller. I can also kind of incrementally go here. And I, these layouts might be because I want to grab, let's say, different text here and move that text onto a different color to customize this more. I can grab the logo, and with the logo, I can actually, or the cover, uh, the cover photo, and I can make this cover photo as large as I wanted to. Click off of it to see what it would look like. I can come in here and click items, go to font settings. And rather than changing all this under report settings and formatting, I can change them all here to see exactly what it would look like on the report. I can actually move the cover foot around. You'll notice the, there's a little check mark always to show you what item that you actually have your focus on as well. I'll grab this logo, just move the logo into the corner. I can now actually add custom text. So. Right now, you know, from here I can actually change the font settings, the font sizes. I have everything on here. When you have things layered on here, you might need to move things to the side uh, when you're building it just to make it a little bit easier to grab things. I'm going to grab this right here, this box, make this box slightly larger so I can grab this text, move that text down. Make it a little bit larger. Change the font to white. Uh, a little bit too large. And you can see how this gives a, a kind of custom look here. And, and you're changing your colors here to, to really brand your company. One of the other things we can do, I'm going to go ahead and turn off, let's say, inspection details. I could. Click back on here and edit text. And I could type whatever I want into here. Home inspection report prepared for. Let's change that font a little bit. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit here so I can grab this and bring it down. Now, as part of this text, I can actually insert variables. And I will bring up a list of variables for everyone in the, uh, in the tutorial notes. And I'll also show them on screen here real quick so you guys can make a copy of them. 
Okay, so here's a list of all the variables that are currently available, and if there's more as we go along, we'll add them into the document notes. I can insert any of these into the report, uh, into the report cover page. So if I go to, for example, grab ins inspector name or client phone number, inspection date, client name, I can add these directly in. And when the report is generated, then the actual client's name will get filled in there. So this will allow us to customize the actual text that's gonna go on the cover completely. And I can turn off what it would normally show for client name and add our own you know, introduction text here in a way that we want. So I'm gonna go back now and make this a little bit larger. We've got our logo here on the right. Got our inspector's name and information here and our client name. Let's go ahead and also add in their client address. Here's a list again in here. We also have client city and zip and state. So I can grab all three of those. Click OK, and let's shrink the font down a little bit. There we go. So all this information here, when we generate the report, will show up directly on the report. And let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to apply changes to template. If we want to have multiple different covers, maybe you have a cover specifically for commercial or you're subcontracting for someone else, you can actually export different layouts share them with other people, or uh, save them yourself for different types of jobs you do. So I'm gonna apply these changes. Yes, I wanna save. And I'm gonna go ahead and generate the report. Now that the report's been generated, you can see that uh, we have a look that we couldn't accomplish before in Home Inspector Pro. We have a a cover photo that's full screen. We've actually laid over text directly on it. We've customized in the, the client's name and address, or, and we notice client address did not come in correctly. That's because it was supposed to be client inspection address. So now that we have all this in here, I'm gonna apply the changes to the template and I'll generate that again. All right, there we go. Notice the client's name, address uh, fully appeared, the inspector's name, whatever else I turned in here. So uh, I'm looking forward to really seeing how you guys use this new feature and uh, a lot of the cover page designs that you guys come up with. I'm sure they'll look a lot better than, than this I just put together here in a few seconds. If you have any questions on this though, you can email us at help at homeinspectorpro.com. You can click on help desk on our website or give us a call.